Hi everyone, so welcome to another academic video. This is the week that I find out who my new student personal tutees are for the year ahead. So I'm a UK based lecturer, I teach and I research physics and every year I get allocated students who are my personal tutees. Um, and I am with those students then throughout the journey of their academic degrees. So I'm going to be going back and I've got students in the fourth year, their third year, their second year. And excitingly, I also get new students starting their very first year of their degree. And that first meeting with my new tutees, I think is really important because I'm sort of scene setting with them, um, explaining my role as their academic personal tutor, but also trying to be that approachable, friendly, I guess, often first point of contact within the university department that they're registered. So I thought I would just chat through some tactics that I use and a bit of a checklist that I work through when I'm meeting my new students or my new tutees for the very first time. One of the first things I do is I introduce myself. Um, I try <laughs> not to make it like a, a boring academic monologue. They don't need to know all about my academic interests. I give them a few research highlights of things that I'm working on. I tell them what classes I teach, especially as I teach a first year class. So I'm going to see them later on in that week. Um, and I just try to share a little bit about myself and maybe one or two of my interests and my hobbies. Try to keep it really light, um, really fun is not the time <laughs> to be going through my academic CV with my new first year students. And then after that, uh, we go around the room, we introduce ourselves, so all the students will introduce themselves, and I'll get them to say which degree course they're on. So nothing personal, you know, they don't know each other yet, they might not really want to talk that much in front of each other yet, but just their name and whether they're doing physics or a physics with subject or physics and mathematics, just to kind of get that conversation starting. And after we've all like, introduced ourselves, I'll talk a little bit about the purpose of having a personal tutor and, and kind of explain why they're all sat in this meeting. And so I'll talk through the fact that as their personal tutor, I'm a point of contact in the department. I can be here to help them talk through module options if they want to change course. I'm here for having a problem on the course. If something's happened externally and they need to consider extenuating circumstances for a forthcoming assessment. Um, if they're having issues or difficulties with accommodation or finance, I can help connect them to the right point of contact. I'm here to help direct them to our wellbeing and our welfare services as needed. Um, also here to celebrate wins and successes. You know, are they playing in a concert one week? Are they doing a sports event? Just, you know, general, chat about what they're up to and assistance and support as they move through the academic framework and the academic processes. So the first thing I ask them is, do they have their university card? So this is a card they get given from my university. It has their photo on it and it has their student number. And what I do is I write down the student number and then I check that it matches what's on the electronic records. You know, it should, you know, the Senate House is very good at getting all the records right, but it's just a double check that the numbers are matching the student and matching the course that they think they're enrolled on. Then the next thing I make sure is that every student has been able to access their timetable. Um, it could be a paper timetable, it could be electronic. I just want to make sure that everybody knows their classes, knows what's coming up, especially that particular week. Um, and then I use that check of the timetable as a way to springboard in to make sure that people are happy finding their way around the campus or the town, depending on where your university is. Um, it can be quite difficult when you're new and there's like all these buildings and you're not sure where you're going. So we have a bit of a chat about the main points of campus. Typically in their first year, they're going to be having lectures together. So I kind of explain to them where the different lecture theatres are just so they know roughly where they're going in that first week. So after I've checked their university ID card, we've made sure everyone can access their timetable. We've had a bit of a chat about finding a way around campus. We then have a quick chat about the different courses. So it's likely that my personal duties are going to be on different degree programs. So although I'm physics, 
they could be doing physics with nuclear astrophysics or they could be doing physics and mathematics. And so we have a quick chat about who's on which degree course. And then I remind them, you know, that if they want to consider moving degree program or they start the degree course, and they're not quite sure they're on the right particular focus area for them, that they can book me or phone me or come and have an appointment with me and we can chat through the options of changing their, their degree modules or their degree course. After that, I usually try to lighten it up by getting them to talk a little bit about any sports or hobbies or activities they're thinking about undertaking. You know, I'll ask if they're going to the Freshers' Fair, are they going to the Students' Unions' Fairs, where they get to see all the different sports and clubs. Um, if they're not thinking about going to it, I do sometimes try to encourage them to think about joining the Physics Society. Quite often, students will have a student-led subject uh, group or committee or kind of yeah, activity that they can join in. And I think if you're new to the department and you're new to the subject, it can be quite nice to join one of those groups because then you get to meet students in the later years and you know, it can just help you as you're trying to settle in. So I encourage them to join FISOC, which is our physics society. Um, and that sometimes means they go to the Freshers' Fair and end up joining other societies and clubs as well. Um, so that's really nice. After that, we have a quick accommodation check. You know, we see where if everyone's sorted, are people on campus accommodation, are people off campus accommodation. Um, then we have a bit of a general chat. Is there any issues or problems or concerns? Um, it will vary university to university. Your university may have some specific oh, specific things they may want you to ask or check with your, your students. Um, but essentially, I want them to leave that meeting feeling positive about the course and feeling that I am an approachable academic that they can come to if they need support or advice or just to chat something, something through regarding the course. And then at the end of the session, I remind them when their next meeting with me will be and how that meeting will be organised. So I usually, um, it's timetabled, but I usually email out in advance of that meeting um, and just kind of remind students where they're, they're coming and, and anything they need to bring for that meeting. And then I like to set my first year students a bit of a challenge. So quite often I will challenge them in that first week to visit the library. Um, yes, loads of resources are electronic and are available online, but I think it's quite nice if they've actually been into the library. Um, libraries these days are so different <laughs> from when I did my degree. Um, when I was studying, it was just a quiet place to study with books, really. But these days there's breakout areas, there's small study rooms, there's large study rooms, there's rooms you can be noisy and eat in, there's rooms you have to be quiet in. So I kind of suggest to them that they might want to, in that first week, find the library and not only that, but go in and try to borrow a book that's relevant to one of their courses. And that's just a good way of making sure that they can access the materials they're going to need as they go through those first weeks of their degree programme. So yeah, that's what I do in my, my first year personal duty meeting, but that's probably enough for this week. So thank you as always for watching these videos. If you've subscribed, awesome, thank you so much. If not, please do consider subscribing, leave me a comment, hit the like button. Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely to hear how we're all getting on, especially as we're getting ready to go back to semester. If you're back already, I hope your university term has started well. As I said, my students will be arriving, I think the week after next, and then we start teaching the first week, or we start teaching in the last week of September. So yeah, have an awesome week, stay safe, look after yourself, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.